Hi, Kent Beck from Gusto here. Kelly Sutton. And we're talking through the uh, desirable properties for tests to have. We're talking through some of the trade-offs between those properties and uh, what you should give up and what you just shouldn't give up in terms of what tests are giving for, uh, bringing to you. Yep. Uh, in the first episode, we talked about tests being sensitive to the behavior of the system. Mm -hmm. So in uh, our case, we're calculating a number. If the number is correct, then the test should pass. If the number is wrong, the test shouldn't pass. Yep. Following that, uh, we're, we want to look at uh, tests that are a little off. Yep. One of the desirable properties of a test is that it, uh, it's insensitive to changes to the internals of the program. Right. So if we just go make some completely irrelevant change, like Re rename a variable, rename a variable, or change the order in which uh, things are declared in yep. a file, the results of the test cannot possibly ever change. Right. We should still get that same number out of the, our little calculator. Here. And yet, over and over, I look at tests, and they're testing deep in the bowels of some uh, some code. Yeah. So how does it get that way? What does that look like? Mm -hmm. And uh, what do we mean when we say that tests should be invariant to the structure of code? You have an example here, right? Yeah. So uh, same example from last week. We've tweaked it a little bit. Okay. So this is our minimum wage calculator, uh, where it calculates a different minimum wage for San Francisco. Okay. Right. Um, and we've kind of polluted our tests on the right here. Polluted is such a strong word. Are you pr we made them structure sensitive. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, okay, I'll go with polluted. Fine. Sure, go sure. ahead. So, uh, uh, so the tests still work, right? They're still green, um, but we've made a strong assumption on exactly how this file is going to be structured. Okay. Specifically, uh, we've made an assumption that this calculate SF private method exists, and it's exactly the thing that we're going to use. But isn't that what we mean when we're in San Francisco? We're going to call different code? Uh, right, yes. We will call some different code, so, but... So it's a, this is a very sensible thing to say. Yes. And yet, it mm -hmm. leads to tests that are pretty horrible to work with over time. Yeah. And so this becomes a problem when we go to, like, refactor this. Okay, right. yeah. Which, uh, refactor, we're, we don't want to change the behavior of the code at all. Yeah. Uh, we just want to change its structure. Yeah. Right. Uh, so let's say you and I are talking. Yeah. Uh, maybe you left a left a comment on a PR saying, you know what, this calculate SF method, it's good, uh, but it's run its course. Uh, it's pretty simple. Every and and that and that multiply duplicates the multiply exactly. up above. We want to get rid of that. Exactly. Okay. So we might inline the method here. So let's do that right now. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to inline the contents of that method and remove our private method. Here. Yeah, and and we haven't broken the code as far right. as anybody on the outside who's actually getting a paycheck, they're getting the right number on the paycheck. Yep. And yet... What happens to our tests? Dun, dun, dun. We get failures. Yeah. And we get failures not because the system is wrong. Yeah, system's still right. The system is still right, but the tests are broken. We don't know why the tests are broken, though. Yeah. We could have made a mistake in the inlining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it could be really bad at copy-pasting. We could be bad at copy-pasting, regardless of how much practice we have. Yeah. And... Or we could just have tests that are irrelevantly structure, uh, sensitive to details of how we implement it. Yeah, and based on what I've seen, this is usually where folks start to mistrust tests or say, I hate testing. Right, right, I changed one thing, yeah. uh, 100 tests failed, I knew the code was still right, Yeah. and I'm gonna give up on these tests. Yeah, so our tests are working against us, not working with us. Got it. So the desiderata here is that tests should be sensitive to the behavior of the system, but they should be insensitive to its structure. Sounds and uh, in the next episode, we're going to talk about tests ought to be automated. Talk to you then.